Hi everyone, welcome back to Gloomhaven with Hit Points Gaming. Mm -hmm. This is game n number three. Game three. We're starting. Of 95. Of 95. We're still going ahead and <laughs> taping these because uh, obviously people are enjoying them. We're still getting a lot of comments, which is great, so thank you. Appreciate it. Um, you know, we were on the fence of if we were going to just tape this intro here and then the end to kind of give a synopsis of what happened in between. Um, that's still kind of actually up in the air because we're just taping this now because actually tomorrow I'm leaving for PAX. Uh, so I won't be around for a few days and I just wanted to get a little a little taste of the next episode in uh, just so I can plan out where we're going to be going next while I'm away. He can't wait the four days while it packs. He wants to play this game I right do. now. I do. I do. So... Uh, where we left off, we came back to... We beat the bad guy, the main bad we guy. We beat the bad guy, yes. The bad guy has been beaten. Beaten, and now we're back in town. Yep. And... We met Jack Sarah. Jack Sarah. Jack Sarah. And she, um, she gave us, I think, two options. Um, I think we have a few options. Okay. But I think she said, I, ha I know of a village of Inoxes right. in the Dagger Forest who's been ransacking her caravans. And that obviously, that's not nice. No. It's not nice. We so don't want anybody doing that to We her. can go and put a stop to it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into the Dagger Forest. I think one of your characters also has a global achievement they need to go Yes, the people. more locations the better. Oh, so you have to map. go in the Dagger Forest to complete. Yeah, that, that is one of like them. Like the World Traveler. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're going to do? Okay. So we are back in Gloomhaven right now. Mm -hmm. Actually, it sounds pretty nice. Okay. Uh, Probably in another tavern. I believe I am going to make a purchase. Okay. Uh, For Morgana who? Waters. Winters. That's right. Winters. Morgana Winters. Know Making sure character. you're paying attention. Uh, I'm going to buy the, the boots of Striding for 20 gold, uh, only because... I've got this gold here, you can't spend it on much of anything else, and we still need one, two, three, four more levels of uh, prosperity before we get new items. So hey, th this might help. Again, this allows you to move two extra spaces, and with my mage I still kind of stink with her, and I get exhausted a lot, so maybe this will help me at least move up on the board before I blow all my cards and mm -hmm. do everything. Sounds so that's good. 20 gold, so that brings me down to 8 with her. Um, I'm going to be spending 10 of Ebenezer, the the mine thief's gold, in order to... Um, donate. Donate. Yeah, to I'm the sanctuary. To the sanctuary. Of the great oak. Yeah, I like charity, so I'm going to give... There's nothing I want to buy, so I might as well give it to mm -hmm. uh, the sanctuary, and I get to add two um, bonus cards Correct. into two my... Correct, less cards. Bless cards. Your, so in the last episode, we had to add three, just because of the scenario, we had to add three curse cards, and we pulled those up, and that, you know, made us do no damage. These two bless cards allow us to do double damage, like a critical. So having them in there, plus, once you donate 100 gold to the sanctuary, you get to open envelope B. So of course we want to open Ten that. down, 90 to go. So let's check that off. We probably should do that with a pen. We will. Okay. We will. All right, so that's checked off. Uh, and I'm, now... I'm down to 18 gold. Down to 18 okay. gold. Okay. So now we get to do the most awesome part is the city. We're going to do a city event, right? Yes. City and a road event. I yes. got them right here. Okay. okay. What's next? City event number seven. Okay. Occasionally, <clears throat> your dealings in town lead you past the bustling docks. Over all conversation gets drowned out by the constant din of loading and unloading cargo and crew. This makes it all the more surprising when you hear a voice above the noise directed straight at you. Oi! You with the hard looks and big arms. Definitely talking about you. I desperately need some help over here. Spare a few minutes to help make sure I get out of port on time. Otherwise, I'll be stuck here until tomorrow. Well, of course we want to help him. So let's make sure we have those options. Okay. Help Wait. the captain load his boat. Oh, he's the captain. 
Oh, yeah. Or move on with your business. You don't have time or inclination for such things. We absolutely have time to help the captain. Of course we're going to help the yeah. captain. So yeah. that's A. So I want to make sure I cover B so I'm not like, oh, I should have picked B instead. No way. Okay. Unless he's an evil captain, pirate captain. We still have to watch Hook, by the way. So you know. But that's a different playthrough. So. Right. Who's, do who's doing... Right? Who just won the last playthrough? Okay. 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 Watch it. What was what was advertised as a few minutes turns out to oh, be no. an hour or two. <laughs> That's as, okay. As you lug large crates full of some foul smelling liquid from a nearby <laughs> warehouse into the hold of the ship. At least the captain is relieved that he'll be able to set sail on time. Though, uh, sits on time, though, it's not small. He yeah. gratefully pays you. Exactly. But you can't help but think that much menial labor might be beneath you. All right. Okay, I didn't so mind it. We got paid, right? Right. So, gain five gold each. Wow. And... Then let's see here. We better get something else. If our reputation is greater than nine, we lose one reputation. If our reputation is less than negative four, gain one reputation. Okay, well, okay, so that's neither. So really nothing happens except we gain five gold apiece. <sighs> Drat. That was it. And this is actually removed. Okay, we gotta read what the, the other game. one is. Oh. Alright, so it was just five gold. So, uh, hmm. So now I'm at 23 and 21. Annex only has 25. I want to buy this hammer for him, but that's 30 gold. I'm still not, still not there yet. So n our reputation doesn't change. No, it doesn't change. Let's see. Uh, that's a shame. Yeah, no kidding. Hmm, I wonder if I want to send someone to be blessed now. I might have Orchid, my Morgana Winters, go and get blessed as well for 10 gold. I'm going to. Okay, I'm great. Send her to the sanctuary We're as well. We're at 20 gold now. So she's blessed. Okay, can we get the marker? Okay, so check that off. Thank um, you. One and two. We, there you go. It paid to go to the captain. We're going to get two people blessed for that. Okay. All right. So now we're leaving. We're all set, right? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to do a road event. We're going to the Bowl. dagger. We're going to take the east road out to the dagger forest. All right. Oh, boy. This is Can I we're... read this one? Sure. Okay. Do I look at the bottom? No. You are feeling... Oh, this is number three. You are feeling a tad hungry as you walk down the road. Sounds like us. Normal. You are considering stopping for a meal when you come across a thicket of bushes covered in red berries. The berries look delicious, but you hesitate. They could be poisonous. Okay. No. Look, if we My do not is, know... No. Leave them be. First of all, the berries are not going to satisfy my hunger. Like a Snickers would. <laughs> That's good. Like a Snickers would. Uh, and if I don't know if they're poison or not, I, I say no. What are the two options? It, a is eat the berries, or B, pass by the berries and just eat your normal rations. Oh, yeah, I'm going to eat my normal rations. So okay. flip so it I'm over, flip and, it over cover the top. and cover the top. So we just see the okay. bottom. Not wanting to regret making a stupid decision, you refrain from eating the berries and continue on down the road. No effect. Oh, it just goes back in the deck. Is yep, that what this? That's what that means. Yep. So it goes back to the bottom of the road event. Okay. Oh man, the berries probably would have like made us hallucinate or done something. But it did say we don't want to do something stupid. I know. I don't want to start a scenario with damage. Exactly. And or guess, stunned. And guess right? what? We're starting a scenario without any damage or poor condition. We're going in with two people blessed. And hopefully these Enoxes will see you and, you know, maybe some... I went to, like, high school with one of them. Maybe, Tribal maybe. camp, you know, Sunday, 
Sunday tribal Sunday camps. School. <laughs> and I recognize one of them. Let's and, uh, hope that they cut us the break. I hope so. Yeah. So, uh, of course, now we have to pause, and I have to come back to this four days from now. And answer the telephone. And answer the telephone. So before I answer the telephone, I'll see you guys shortly when we come back and play. It's his mom. Alright, so second thought, I actually have like two hours before I have to go to sleep for tomorrow. I figured, why not at least get started on playing this mission? So, that's what we're doing. But, we have decided that we are just going to be doing for some of these episodes, we're just going to do the beginning, like you just saw, kind of the setup of the actual board, and then any story moments... We'll actually be going ahead and, and telling you those. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the mission, we'll kind of do a synopsis of what happened. Uh, and then, um, you know, for maybe some of the really important missions or whatnot, we'll do a full playthrough. Mm -hmm. But to do a full playthrough of all 95 of them, you guys, you'll, you'll never see you'll us. You'll get tired of us. You'll get very tired of us. So um, we'll sprinkle in a few of these episodes, and I think that's what we're going to do now. So... Here's the setup. We enter in this giant room. Let's go ahead and read the introduction. Enoch's encampment. So this merchant wants to make an example of some caravan raiders. Seems reasonable enough. For the right amount of money, almost anything can be made reasonable. You enter the Dagger Forest and begin to track down the encampment using Jexara's crude map. It is well hidden, but following the signs outlined on the parchment, you find a dense cluster of huts in a small clearing of the forest. All that's left is to head in and make the requested example. Make that requested example. Special rules. Until door one is opened, one normal Enox guard spawns at A. Okay. At the end of every odd round for two... Okay, there's a lot of words there. Um, at the end of every odd round for two characters or the beginning of every round for three or four characters. Okay. Okay. So... There's a giant room right here. This is the biggest room that we've come across. Mm -hmm. And there's actually a, the most guys that we've ever faced right In away. In one room, yeah. So there's these Enox guards, which we've never seen. Uh, they have eight health. Uh, then we got some Enox archers back here. They have six health. And then an Enox shaman. So this is the only elite character. Um, they have nine health. Now there's four doors here that lead off into extra rooms, I'm sure. And then there's one back here. And at the end of every round, one of these guards is going to spawn here. Okay, now in order to win this scenario, we have to defeat 20 bad guys. 20 bad guys. So, okay. do we... Um, and then the spawning stops as soon as we get to this door and, and open it. Okay. So, I don't, I don't know yet um, if we want to have these guys just keep spawning and this is where we kill them or venture into these other rooms. I'm going to take some off there. Yeah. Right, right, right. I'm just kind of concerned right away of what's going to happen turn one. They're just going to beat us up. Yeah. All right. Uh, we've got some totems on the board here. They just kind of act like obstacles. Some thorns. Uh, they, if you walk on them, you take like, I think half the damage rounded down as like a trap. So I think um, it's going to do three. I think it's only one damage if you, if you stand on them, but they don't go away. Uh, so yeah, um, some new characters. Uh, really, the only thing is the shaman, but these guys have the same. Send your brood over there and talk to him. Oh, I don't recognize anybody. Um, I don't recognize any. So shoot, I'm thinking right time. away. I'm just gonna try and stand my ground, and maybe retaliate right away. I'm gonna do some range attacks. Yep. Uh, my mage. <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna try to say that I'm not gonna spend all my cards right away but I'm sure I'm going to, uh, and then you'll see. We'll probably cut it back in. If we can make it to this door and we get to another story moment, yeah, we'll, that's when we'll chime in and we'll kind of show you uh, what has happened up until that point. So, Wish us luck. Wish us luck. All right, so a few days have passed. Uh, I just came back from PAX, so this game was put on hold for a little bit. We actually played right before I left, mm -hmm. uh, got up to this point, and then, you know, Took pictures of everything, so when the cats jumped and destroyed everything, um, we knew where we left <laughs> off. Uh, so we skipped ahead a few turns. We didn't tape every turn, and no. this might be something that we do going forward. Um, only because there, it's you know it takes a lot of time and to record everything and, and every turn, and you guys might be bored of that. So we're gonna skip ahead. We're kind of towards the end, at least I think so. We have killed thirteen minions so far. Mm -hmm. All right. 
we win once we defeat 20. Now the trick with this room is, at the end of every turn, a new guard spawns at this back door until we actually come up and open it. So every turn, this new person keeps coming out. So, you know, we started down here. We um, started off by having my brute go into like defensive mode and he was retaliating. My mage has the power to help him retaliate, or really everybody mm -hmm. retaliate too. So anyone that was hitting the brute, he would do four damage back. And anyone who was hitting any of our other characters, since we were adjacent to the mage, got dealt two damage. So that's how we basically pretty much cleared out the entry here. Then once they were whittled down, we rushed either side to get rid of the, the archers. archers. We're just like kind of picking us off. Uh, this the shaman was pretty sharp. He had some pretty uh, he had some new moves uh, that had some some conditions on it. But we lucked out. He was never really within range of us. Mm -hmm. And then one turn we just we just beat him up really we bad. We just burnt him down. I think yeah. he had like eight health, or and we just targeted him all at once. So mm -hmm. he got knocked down before he really hit us. Uh, we've got two of our summons out right now. Yep, I waited to put the rats out, and yes. it's so far so good. I think they hit somebody and did some damage. Mm -hmm. um, moved up, my, my Mystic is doing pretty well. Uh, so right now we've got four more guards. Uh, we did not open either of these doors. I think we're just kind of yeah. waiting, since we could just wait for this guy to keep spawning every turn. It was kind of like a, how long do we keep pressing this before we open the door to do our card? So we're kind of at the end here. Uh, we need to open up this last door, I believe, because I think there's a treasure chest in there. So we definitely want to open that and, of course, stop we have, this from spawning. We have seven guys left. Seven guys left to kill. There's four here, and there's there's three in the other room. So if we plan Spoiler. this out correctly, yeah. we open the door on this turn, we're set. But it always comes down to, do we have enough cards at the end? And you yeah. just don't know until you really play it out. I think we've done a couple of long rests, maybe one short rest. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. The brute definitely long rest yeah. to get some more health back. Uh, so let's see how let's far see, we let's can see. get. Yeah, two of these guys have um, have some pretty good damage on them right. already. And two of them, I don't have any damage any on damage them at all. Uh, so let us see how this turn goes before we open this door. All right. So we got our cards ready, correct? Correct. All right. 11, 60. 32, and 20. And we have to pick the guard. Yeah. Come on, medium number. 30. That is before some of my guys. Oh, no. Awesome. Okay. Uh, 11. 11 it is. Mind Thief. Okay. He, from where he's standing, well, first move the rats. I'm going to move the rat here. They only move one space. So they're Unfortunately, getting closer. yeah. They're getting closer. Actually, I think, I think he actually has to go. Oh, he can't go that way because he can't end there. Yeah, there he goes. Okay. Um, I am going to... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Now, he wouldn't be able to move um, if I um, disarmed him. No, he, would, he wouldn't be able to attack you. Okay, so let's... But remember, we want him to move off this space if we want to step on the door this turn. So I'm going to try to disarm the other guy. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move four spaces. Four. No? Okay, but here's the question. This guy's going to just attack you from there. How do we get him off of this door? I don't know now. Unless we just kill him. Three, four. We could actually just kill this guy. Why don't we just I do that? I could go here and kill this guy, and then shoot a range attack here. Okay, well this guy only has one health. Okay. How much damage does your biggest attack do? Four. Well, maybe we concentrate on hitting him and killing him. Okay. And then I have an attack two. Okay. So that's not enough, though. He's got how, how well, much I've health? Got other people. Health? I've got other people that are going to do stuff. Yeah, but not before he goes. Uh, One 20. other person. I've got a 20. But then you're not killing these guys. Okay. How about you do what you want? Well, I was going to do what I wanted, and then you stopped me. I'm just saying, make sure this guy comes off, or okay. we kill him. One, two, three, four. Okay. I can attack this guy for two. Perfect. For 
Attack him for two, right? Can we... He has four health left. Let's not attack him for two. Let's attack the guy with one health for two. Okay. All right. That's what I'm going to do. I like it. Okay. <sighs> Minus one. Minus one. One damage. One damage. That's all he needs. Yes. All okay. right. What a, that was a great plan, by the two. way. One, two. I like that plan. Permanently discarded. Okay. Now, my empathetic assault is attack four, range five. Okay. Okay, so I'm attacking this guy. Yep. Range five. He's also going to get disarmed. I like it. All right. right? Disarmed. Yeah, sure. Okay. So. Whoa! Six damage. Six damage. You get two experience for that. And two experience, and, and it boosts, yes. Wow. So can you give me Why a ten? Why didn't you just plan to do that from the beginning? Can you I have a, a 10, 10 experience, please? 10 experience? Okay. Yes. There you go. We also got another token for defeating a guy. Great. And that is the end of the Mind Thieves. Well, that was an amazing turn, Mind Thief. I like you a lot. Okay. All right. Okay. Next is uh, what number? You, 20. 20. 20 is next. Okay. Well, first things first is my guy here, he has range two movement so he's gonna go one and then he shoots at this guy okay my mystic for three damage four damage he's dead is he see ya four damage I like it drops another piece of gold another guy wow wonderful that well that completely changed what I needed to do Hmm. One, two, three, four. Which three? I'm gonna move here with my mage. I'm gonna move him two spaces, bottom of one card, so I can get that loot. Nice. And then I'm gonna attack range three, my frost armor attack. Oh, it's frost armor. Onto this guy. Uh -huh. It's two damage, but because I'm using the frost in the air, yes. I do an extra damage. Awesome. So three. Three damage. That kills him. Okay. Nice. And it gives me one experience. Okay. Nice so job. He's gone. Nice job. This. This. Wow, I didn't think we were going to clear the guys out that well. And then I gain two gold. But now my, my mage only has one left, so she's going to have to short rest. And I'm... I'm going to be down to like really one turn left of the mage. I'm still exhausting her way too quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so that was 20. Next is 30 because mine's 32. Mm -hmm. So now this guy is going to move. He gets an extra move. We're just going to move here. He goes after the mind thief because I went first. he went first. It's an attack minus one. So it's uh, two. So it's only one of damage. Complete miss. Nice. Complete miss. All right. So now 30. So I didn't even know if I was going to... Wow. Yeah. Whoa. I'm actually going to change this up a little bit. This guy's at full health, right? Yeah. All right. I'm going to move to... I'm going to opt to do a regular move. Okay. And then I'm going to attack with my warding strength. It's three attack. Okay. So it's three... Okay, three damage. That's fine. But then I get to push him two spaces. He's what number? Uh, number five. I'm going to push him one, two into the thorn bushes. So he takes an extra damage? It's only one damage. So normal traps right now I think do three. But these thorns do half of a trap rounded, rounded down. down. So I'm, I'm pretty sure so it's one. So let's just move him out of the way. Okay. I think Let that was good. Let our guys take... Yeah, now our... Uh, take care of them. Those two guys can take care of them. Okay. Right. Dun, 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 dun. The scoundrel has to go. All right, now... She... she... Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. She's supposed to move and open the door and disarm the trap that's on the other side. But apparently he's laughing at me. No, no, so no. that should that's no, is that something that's else. That's what we're gonna do. But for people that watched the first episode, 
remember your scoundrel went in, opened that door, and then, and then she died. She got shot up. And died. So Okay, she wasn't that dramatic. Okay. You weren't there. You you're the sister. Okay. We oh, just yeah, let you right. down lightly that you know. Okay. okay. So hopefully you survive. But you've got you've got your armor still. And three cards and three full cards. health. So, oh. Almost full health. Easy okay, easy. here we go. Move five. Okay. One, two, three. We're gonna open that door and see what happens. Here it is. We open the door. On my third space of movement. Yes, very exact. We open the door and we're confronted with a few individuals. And... Oh, oh, oh. Um, you push your way into the back cave only to be faced with a half dozen crying, screaming, Inox children. Oh. Are you sure I'm supposed to read that? Yeah, when you read number one. You have little opportunity to contemplate the implications of this development. However, as you find yourself also staring down the bows, bows of several Anox archers, your only option is to continue fighting. Wait, I don't have an option to, to, save, to save, save the, the children? children? Mm. No. Okay, well. No, well, I'm guessing if we kill the archers, we're going to save the children. But if what if the archers are the children's parents? Oh. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take this back from you. I didn't think of that. Right, right. Well... Now we're gonna have a... Now there are some traps in front of us, but that's why you're here. You were here to deactivate those we traps. We can't, like, talk to them or anything? Um, there's no option to. Oh, okay. Um, I am and going about to, to shoot you, so. disarm one trap. And pick up this coin. Okay, because you're entering a movement there. Yep. Yes. Or am I backing up? Well, you can't disarm the trap and then move. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, I'm taking this I coin. I would like that, but... Yeah, yeah. And you got experience for that, right? I do. A hefty two. That's pretty hefty. Okay, now we have to draw cards for these. The Shaman. It's a 62. And... <coughs> 68. But they both go now. They both go now, right? Yeah, I was a 60. Okay. So let's do it now. So the Shaman doesn't get any extra movement. Uh, it doesn't get any extra attack. So his range is a 3. So guess what? He's actually out of range on you. Pretty helpful. One down. Two to go. Uh, and now we've got the archers. Ooh, plus one attack and plus one range. Wow, this is their like ridiculous card. So they're just going to stand here and shoot at you. Uh, of course so the gold goes first, and he has four attack, three attacks. Okay, well, I'm going to do my armor. All right, so I'm going to draw two cards, and we're going to pick the lowest. Yes. Uh, so this is three, so this is four damage, minus one, three, mm -hmm. four, three. I'm going to well, pick three. Three damage coming to you. You're just going to take it. All right. I'm going to take it. And now the next one is three plus one. Four damage. I'm gonna get rid of a card. I think that's a good idea. Okay. Um, I get to pick? Yes, one from your hand. Because what, you have three cards? Yeah, so it's worth it, I think, to get rid of the game. Hey, you did what you needed to do. I did. Okay, so <clears throat> that's the end of this round, right? We have four people left that we have to kill, okay? Uh, we've got money here on the side which is pretty cool. Those maybe are like the babies. We can pick them up, sell okay. them. Uh, and then we've got the one treasure chest in the back. Okay. So I think- You have to rest, oh, right? Oh yeah, we gotta do some short rest. So actually I'm short resting with the brute and with the mage, because my mage is down the one and- um, Huh. Well, I only have two cards left with the rogue. Well, we... scoundrel. Um, Am I going to be... Yeah, I'm short resting with the mage, so I have to do this and get rid of one card. So I'm going to have to short rest with her, too. Okay, good. In case I, I'm taking damage. If I only have two cards... Mm. Okay, so short resting is I pick from 
The discard, or I pick from all? The discards. Uh, is one. Okay. Well, these, did you just use these? These no, are in your hand, these right? are in my hand. Yes, so just those. I wanted to long rest with the brute, but I think I need to get in there and start attacking. Alright, see, what do I get rid of? Course one, that's actually a range. So we have our two guys left behind that'll take care of the guy that's there. I'm actually going to suffer one damage to oh, really? randomly pick a different card. Because I want to, if I can't move in there with enough range movement, I want to at least be able to throw something. Okay. That's actually good. I was planning on like um, long resting with the brute and then running in and using my boots and doing a major attack on, on one of the big guys. Mm -hmm. but. I don't think that we have a turn to long rest, so. So short rest, short rest. You short short rested. rested. And I'm I'm not gonna rest with him because I don't have any cards. It's too. Alright. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it and then plan out maybe one of our hopefully one or two turns away. Okay. Alright, so looking through my cards again, I'm actually the card that I got rid of with my brute is something I really wanted. I don't know why I did that. So I'm going to lose another health to get rid of another card. I, I really should have gotten rid of the, the range one. Oh look, here it is again. So I am going to get rid of the range. So that silly mistake cost me two health, but I think it's going to be better for me. Uh, so this and this. It's just not as good as I thought it was going to be. Alright, so I'm set. I'm set. Okay. Let's see what we have. We had to reshuffle a few of the decks. So, Brute is at a 35. 69 with the Mage. 86 and 20. Okay, let's see. Archer, 68. Again, that same really powerful attack. And Shaman, 74. Okay. Guard. 15. Oh, look. The guard has a shield and a retaliate on him. Hmm. I can mess things up. Alright, so... Which one's the guard? This guy. No! I know. I know. Alright, did you have something before 15? No. Alright, so he goes into shield mode right there. Uh, next is... 20, you said? Yeah. Okay, so retaliate means he hits us. If you hit him... And don't kill melee, him. Melee. Yep. Then he does two damage back to you. Oh, weren't you gonna go... I thought you were gonna go late with him. That was the whole point of looting... After he died. I... Or silly. That's okay. Um, okay. Can I... Well, your rat goes first. He does. Okay, so he's going to attack for, for two, two damage. Minus one. One damage. And he shields he blocks. it. And then he does two damage to your rats, which I think probably kills them. No, where's their health? Here, six. Wow, the rats have six health? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Here, so I'll put... Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, great. All right, now you go. Can I become invisible and then attack him? No. Mm -hmm. If you still don't want to attack him, you could just loot and get the two things right now. Because my my mystic person's going to back up a space so he's not adjacent and attack. Mm. All right, so let's do that. So you can pick up two loot right now. So I'll loot... And then I will move, I guess. Oh, shouldn't the rats have moved? Mm -mm, no, they stay there because they're attacking right now. Oh, okay. So I get to loot one. So, so this one two. and this one. Nice. And then I'm just going to use my card to move. Just get a little bit closer to... Oh, yeah, that's fine, actually. Yeah. That, was, that was a waste. That was a waste. You got two, two, two gold pickups out of it. 
Alright, so that was 20. I have a 35. I'm sorry, yeah, 86, you go. Okay, I go so my 35. So I'm going to do this with the Brute. So I'm going to... This is like a discard card, a lost card. So I move six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I gain one experience for that. That brings me to ten. Which I don't have. I'm just going to use one of the counters. Because we know as soon as we beat the last guy here, then we win. Um, so that goes my lost. And then I attack... X is the number of hexes you have moved so far this turn. So attack for six. I should have attacked him, because I have that extra to attack. Ah, uh, yeah. But then you lost your loot card, so you wouldn't be able to loot one. I have a loot two. Oh, uh, in your hand? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, probably should have. Attack two, attack four. That's okay. I'm not going to go back? No. All right. All right, so I'm attacking him for six. Okay. Minus one, so five. five damage. That is on the gold archer. Number three, sorry. Okay. Not so bad, I like that. Alright. Uh, next is... That was 35. Yours in the 80, right? This yeah. is 68. 68. The archer. This is 69. Okay. okay. So this archer... Attack plus one, range plus one. All right. So this is on my brute right here. Okay. So four, three, four, three, three damage. I am I am going to discard a card to block the three. Okay, next is this archer on my brute. This is for three damage. Yes! Fail. Complete miss. All right. Whew. Getting close here. 69. 69. All right, now the mage does what the mage does best. Well, first, the ally goes. So the ally is going to actually back up one space because it's a range attack. Mm -hmm. So it will back up one space so it doesn't gain the disadvantage. Okay. So this is for three damage, four, four damage. one shield. Three. Three damage onto that guy. So he so has one health one left. One health left. Okay. Now the mage is going to ride the wind. Here's that eight space movement. Oh, that was a horrible sound effect. I'm going to land. It sounded like the wind. Oh, thanks. I'm going to land on top of the treasure chest space. Right here. Let's see if I can do this epically. Okay. Okay, so this is a lost card. I can't wait till it's like three gold again. And then I'm gonna shoot fire orbs. So three targets, three attacks each at range, and it creates fire. Okay. And experience for each person that I target. So that's pretty cool. I'm just going all out. So let's go on big guy first. Okay. Okay, so this is three. One. So one damage. And that is... Number three. Okay, one damage. Uh, on the other archer, two damage. Two damage. And then on the shaman right next to me, for four damage. Okay, so which is which? Number five is the archer. Got two damage. Yeah. And then the shaman got four damage. So Wait, four then damage. I'm confused. Don't worry. I'm following. Guard... Shaman archers. Okay, well, did I put the five on the wrong I, one? I moved it. So four on the shaman. Yes. And how many here? Nothing. Nothing there. That's the guard. No one got hit by the guard. It's. Oh my goodness. Now I'm confused. Was it one, two, four? Yes, that's what it was. Two right here. Just put two damage. Okay, hey, I did some damage. Now, to be safe, I'm going to use my Cloak of Invisibility this turn to gain Invisible. So, they can't target me for a round. Alright? Mm -hmm. Now, are you ready for the most exciting part? 74 the archers? No, I'm going to pick up the treasure chest. Oh. I was going to look to see what the treasure chest was before I went to PAX, but then I figured, why would I do that? 
So you didn't agonize over it? I agonized a lot. 65. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't even know if this is the book that it's in. <laughs> it is. Okay, I was going to turn up the music while well, we waited. No, we don't need it. Okay. The Horned Helm Design, item 107. What? I don't know. Okay. But apparently, okay, we got here. a design of a horned. Check that horned off. Check that off. Helm 65, right there, right here. Just put a check mark. That's the best. Thank okay. you. That's awesome. So, uh. Now remember, I'm going to put it right here on the screen so you see, but I'm sure we're going to look at it at the end anyway. Yeah. I think a design means that we can maybe purchase it back in town. I hope so. I don't know. That's pretty cool. I just ripped it out of the baby's hands. Like, what, are you, what is this play toy? And then I was like, oh, this is a you design. You got it out know. of the chest. You oh, didn't that's right. rip it out of anybody's hands. That's right. There's, there's designs in it. Ridiculous. Okay. Okay. Mage is done. That was 69. 74. So now, 74. This is shaman. the shaman. So the shaman's right here. Minus one. Plus one move, attack. Move. Plus one attack. So plus one attack. Um, they have a range attack. So. Oh. Actually, that's really cool. It tells you right here. Oh, no, no, no. They attack. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. Range plus one. Okay. Yeah, so the, the shaman's going to back up one space. Because he doesn't want to get messed up. So the brute, he has, sorry, plus one attack. So this is three, four damage mm. on the brute. Mm. Well, guess what? He has to give up a card. I'm going to get rid of a card. Uh, yikes. All right, there's your card. I only have like one turn left with this brute. <sighs> okay, and now you are up. Okay. Who should I poison? This guy or this guy? One, two, three. Three. Well, this guy's got two health left. I. Oh, he does? And this guy has four health left. I could absolutely get rid of this guy. So do we want to get rid of this guy or Let's wait, how much does he have left? Three? Four. Four health? So poi I could technically kill this guy. Or this guy. Definitely kill this guy. Let's definitely kill the biggest threat. Okay. One, two, three. So can, I'm can you get closer to him? Yes. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, because we want you to get close to people. I don't have room to take damage either. Okay, and I poison him. Oh, when you move. Move three and poison target one adjacent enemy. Oh, well then poison this guy. This guy okay. has two health left. Poison him. Okay, he's poisoned. Let's get it together here. Then I'm going to use my single out attack on the shaman. I gain plus two when he's adjacent to one of my allies. So I have a total of attack five. Oh, so you got a lot of attack. Yeah, which is why I said, well, maybe I should attack this guy, but he's not adjacent. Oh, okay, yeah. So you're good, you're good. And this is just an archer, not a shaman. But I know you're oh. you're new to this. <laughs> Five, and it's a complete miss. And I think that's the end of the round, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, that stinks. Oh boy. My mind thief only has two cards left. All right, well, the end of the round for, she she com becomes exhausted, my mage. So that means that this guy's gone. This guy disappears. Okay. She's not invisible until the end of her next turn, so that's fine, I think. Or maybe the status comes away now. Let us know. Does this the in, in, invisibility disappear now that she's exhausted, or is it until the next round? I think it's until the next round. All right, so we got to plan out. We only have three people left. The brute only has one more turn. Well, he's got a short rest. Are you short resting to get cards? 
I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to. I could short rest next turn. Okay, I hope there's not a next turn, let's put it that way. Okay, then we need to shut off to Oh decide. yeah, we're, we're gonna decide. So the first thing, first thing I wanna clear up was this archer. When he attacked my brute, he actually should have backed up one space uh, so he wouldn't have a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when you went to attack him, you wouldn't have had a really powerful attack. You only had three, but it didn't matter. You failed. Because you failed, so. And I had to reshuffle my cards, so I shuffled yeah, them. Yeah, you should reshuffle them. The monster deck had to get reshuffled. And I think we're set. Hopefully we can finish it this round. Yes. Okay, we've got a 15. Okay, that's oh, it. That's all I'm I sorry, got. I all have right. a four and an eight. Oh, gee, I thought I was going early. All right, guard. Five. Nine. Nine. Oh my goodness. Shaman will be done, don't worry. And 14. The shaman is over here. Shoot. That's who I was going to be killing. Shoot, I always get confused. What does that shaman do? Because that's a problem. The shaman looks bad. Move minus one attack, curse, and target two people. Okay, so maybe we gotta, maybe we gotta Maybe we switch. gotta change it up. Okay, so who goes Archer. First? Okay, the oh, um, archer goes. Ooh, okay, Jesus. hold on, hold on. Okay, so this is an archer and this is an archer. Okay, so unfortunately, so we're gonna have to get rid of the guard. Okay. So, Who? Well, oh, I'm sorry, the scoundrel goes first, okay. the number four. Okay. Okay, so right now she was going to attack this archer right here. Okay. Um,. She unfortunately does not have a range attack. Okay. So I would have to move to attack this guy. Him. But can you kill him? He's now, got four health. He's got four health left. I have. Shaman has two health left. Oh. Yeah, I am an attack three. Okay. I was going to do double attack on this guy, mm -hmm. but if I move, I can't. I can only do one attack. Right. It's going to be up to you. My brute can't take three damage. Or what's cursed. Or I can do something else. I draw, um, I'm not too sure at the moment. I would have to look it up. Why don't you plan out? I think curse. Well, you can't take it no matter what, and he's going to target you. So I have to. I shuffle a cur curse card into the attack deck modifier. Not that bad. Okay, not that bad. But you would potentially be taking damage. Right. Doesn't do much damage though. It's minus one, so it's it's only one damage. I could deal. I could deal with that. But he's going to target two people, That's so okay. he'll target you and me, so... Is he'll it... target me and the mage, because we're the closest. But I thought she's invisible. Uh, oh, no. So I don't know if... No, she's not now, I don't think, because it's a new turn. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I don't know if this... Ha I, like I said last turn, I don't okay. know if the invisibility well, goes... He only has two health, and I have an attack three. Okay. Am I going to sacrifice myself... Here's the only thing. I fail. This guy cannot kill either of my characters. If this person, who's left alive, gets a double damage, they could kill my character. So we need to kill the archers before they go, which is 14. Okay, so then that leaves me yes. standing where I am. Yes. Do okay. everything you can. Okay. Kill my archers. first one is the thief snack attack for three. Perfect. Times two. He's yes. Dead. So six damage. Drops this. He's dead. You I gain have experience. to shuffle. I gain it's at the end of the round. Oh, oh, at the end of the round. I gain experience. Man. Nice. Okay. And then. I have another attack. Perfect. You either want to move here and get the... Oh, no, because you did the other one. Just, so I'll attack him. Attack? Yes. All right, attack for three. Okay. 
Yes, he's dead. You're like, oh, I, I have this extra attack here. With I know, but like I wanted to use The father of these him. babies standing next to me. Uh, what should I do? You should attack and kill them, and then we'll ask questions later. Okay. Now, <laughs> the mind thief goes. Okay. So the rats. But his rats actually go first. Yes. So they're attacking for two. Plus attacking one. Attacking for three. Enough damage to kill this guy. He's dead. Okay, look at all this money all over the place. Okay. And then, wait, what was I even doing? Oh, I don't you even... You were going to attack this guy. I was going to attack this guy. Well, let's move for two. Oh. Hmm. Is move two your highest that you can do? Yeah. Well, if you want, you could jump into those thorn bushes. And take a damage. And take a damage and gain. Yeah. Gold, right? It's worth it. Because I, only, I have one range attack that forces an enemy to attack another, but we can't do that. Right. And my other range attack only is a range two. Okay. So it's not going to reach him. Right. So I think I'm jumping into the thorns. Okay. Do yeah. it. In order to get the gold. But see, that's why I was upset because it was like a waste of his turn. Yeah, I understand. When we have a really scary bad guy up there. Alright. Done? Done. Okay. Now the archer goes. The, archer the archer's is dead. Tricked actually, you. oh, the shaman goes with a nine. Oh. Yeah, I had an eight. Okay. So yeah, the shaman goes. Shaman goes. All right. So the shaman, he's going to attack two people because he has a range, right? Mm -hmm. Three, and he targets two people and he curses them. So he's hitting both my brute and my mage. So here's a good question. It's not going to affect us right now, but like I said, does the mage is the mage still invisible, or is it at the end of her turn where she has a ninety-nine initiative right now? Or because she got exhausted, all these tokens get removed. Let us know. Also, now that he's going to attack us and add curses to our deck, it says shuffle in a curse card into our attack modifier deck. So, do I shuffle... Do I only put the curse in what's ever left over? Or do I shuffle everything? It's probably everything. It's probably everything, yeah. Okay. So, Shaman's going to go next. It's going to attack my Brute first. So this is only one damage. Minus one, so nothing. Zero damage. But I still get cursed. Okay. And then on the spell weaver, one damage, minus one, zero. So they both get cursed. I'm not going to worry about putting a curse in spell weaver. Okay. I'm actually not going to worry about putting a curse in here because the curse card's to the side. So I'm just going to take, I'm just going to take a random guard card. Wait, that's not random. I just put the one that was there back on top. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to take oh. a guard card, put it in here. Gotcha. And if it comes up... Then it'll be the curse. Then it will I be gotcha. the I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe I need some caffeine. I don't know what's going on. Okay. All right, tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. Hopefully it's not... At the top. <sighs> stop. It's not. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> so now the brute's going to go. Okay. Three health left. He's going to... Move two spaces. What if you pull a complete fail? Then we're in trouble. Now I'm going to attack for four, cause stun, and two experience. Let me get those two experience first. All right, so for four damage, this guy only has two health left, right? We know the one curse isn't on top, but there's still... Yes, he only has two health left. So we don't want to peel back a miss. Plus two damage. Thank goodness. I take my shield, crack him over the head, and then we realize why are there children around here? Uh, the book? That's it. That's the end of the round, right? Well, uh, did we kill enough? 20. There was twenty. Okay. Okay. Uh, now we gotta carry these kids on our backs. Yeah, wow, there's a lot to read here. All right, conclusion. Running through the forest, fleeing the smell of burning flesh, you now find more than enough opportunity to contemplate your actions. 
How you act, how your actions sit with you must be visible on your face as you meet once more with Jexara, this time in her manner. Okay. She hands you a sack of coins with a frown. They were thieves and murderers, she says blankly. They deserved what you gave them. And that is all I will say of the matter. I have one more task I would like you to perform. Jaxara! What? We she just is had, needy! So did we murder the children, do you think? No! We didn't. No. Okay. No, we left them without parents. I have one more task I would like you to perform. I require a diamond of considerable size for a customer, but I cannot find one anywhere in the city. There is a diamond mine, however, in the southern mountains long since lost to the wilderness. Hmm. I've heard reports that it is now overrun with verm... verm... lings... Verm vermlings. Hey, that's you. That's me. Uh, no doubt with some more... with some other more intelligent force behind them. If you can fight your way in and grab the biggest diamond you can find, I will give you a considerable reward. Number nine is what okay. it says. So right. is that so on the main we'll map? Add that to the map. Now leave me in peace. Jexara's two massive Enox bodyguards step forward, directing you to leave the manor. Okay. okay. Outside, contemplating your new task, you hear a small voice behind you. She's not looking for profit, you know. What is this? You turn around to see a female quattro step out of the alley beside... Jexara's house. She's clad in dark leather armor and holds a cons conspicuous contraption full of whirling gears and topped with a conical metal piece connected to a tube. Argis, Argisi, city guard, she says, introducing herself. Oh. Argis. Argis. Argisi. No, I don't exactly look the part, but if anyone isn't what they appear to be, it's that Valrath you've been talking to. Sure, she's a merchant, but she's up to something far more sinister. She's been trying to overthrow the military in Gloomhaven for as long as I've been here, what? and we're all very curious about what her current mach machinations are. Mission? Machinations are. This is the toughest set of words. Look, you can go do her bidding like a good little puppy if you want, but if you'd rather actually help this town keep the peace and not get overrun by the wilds, I have a different idea. We'll get to the bottom of Jexara's plans and expose her for who she really is. Oh. Number eight. Oh my so goodness. So we get a new, two new locations, okay. Gloomhaven's Warehouse okay. and Diamond Mind. Okay. And we get a party achievement, which is Jexara's plans. Okay. And we get two rewards, 15 gold each. Nice. And plus one prosperity. Yes. All right. We are moving on up. We are. All right. So now I completed both of my check marks. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Did Ruben. you? Uh, you know what? Let's let me get everything set and we'll record like our experience and our gold, and then we'll reveal if we completed our tasks. I did. We made it out alive. Very happy that we did it. I think we did it correctly, too. Not many mistakes, hopefully. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure you so. guys will catch mistakes. But we, yes. We did the modifier decks correctly. We moved summons correctly, hopefully. So we'll see. We're getting better every time, right? All right, so let's go character by character. So let's start with your... Mind thief. What do you want to know? Uh, did you got a lot of experience? Um, yes. Um, I am at a total of 46 experience, which means I get to level up. Right. So at level 45, you can ding to become a level 2. Okay. Um, I have a boatload of gold. I have 52 gold. Whoa. Um, and I completed my quest, which was take only long rest during this scenario. So that is a check for you. So that is a check. We still have to check to see if I completed the second check mark. And if I do, I'm able to level up again. Okay. Um, and we'll do that before next round. Okay, um, yeah, so there are these perks for each character. When you level up, you get to check one of them. It's like, you know, remove all of... Um, so the one I'm doing first is I get to replace a minus two card mm -hmm. with a zero card. And that zero card that you replace it with 
is the, the, the modifier deck that we used that in the very first thought. game. Yeah. So that's where they, they come from. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so um, the Scoundrel, she's up to 27 XP, so she can't level up yet. She has 30 gold, so I might be buying the new helmet that uh -huh. we just unlocked. Yeah. So that is the horned helmet. Yeah. So there are two versions of this guy. Okay, after moving three or more hexes on your turn, add plus one attack to your next melee. Now, what is the coolest thing about this card? It doesn't get taken away. It doesn't. You don't have to tap it. Right. Um, you always have it. I think that's pretty and awesome. And she does move a bunch. She does. So She's I, a mover I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna spend it on her. Okay. Um, she did actually complete her check mark as well, and that was Dynamo kill a monster um, using four more points of damage. Yes, I remember you were excited that. when that happened. Yes, I did. Okay. So she's up to two check marks. Um, she got some gold. She got some gold. She yeah, she's behind everybody. She had a bunch of tokens. What was that? Three, four, five, six, seven. She gained... Wow. So that's 14. 14 and 15, 29, yeah. Wow, that's great. So we got the gold. Each gold token is two points apiece. I will definitely be buying the Prosperity next time. or the Oh, yeah. The Prayer. The prayer. That was pretty cool. I yeah. Think it happened two or three times. It was good for us, but I think yeah. we were killing like easy guys on it. Yeah. But it was still worth it. I think for only 10 gold, I think it's, I think well, it's pretty good. Well, plus we get to unlock. So I think when we mm. have an excess of gold, we're not buying we're anything. I think we, yeah, yeah, need to filter it there. All right. So my brute did not pick up any extra gold. So he's kind of well, on the poor side. Well, you got 15. Side. I did have 15. So now he's at 35. So he will You're either be picking up something. You're still richer than her. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, I did finish my perk, mm -hmm. which was the aggressor again, so having someone on the map at the beginning of every round, which I did, uh, that's two check marks, so that gives me unlock one perk and start my next. Wow. Yeah, he's cool. doing pretty well. Mm -hmm. And he will be able to level up too, he had 49 experience, because we got a bonus six experience, and we did a lot of moves by gaining experience this round, I think mm -hmm. we're doing pretty well there. Uh, he did good, uh, and then Morgana. She picked up some gold, so she is at a total of 30 gold now. Uh, 50 experience, so I think everyone's going to be leveling up except for her. Mm -hmm. I did not do my quest because it Which was purist. Well. Use no items during the scenario. So I was going to try to do this, uh, but then I needed to drink that potion. Yeah, to it's, get the cards It's back. clutch for the Spellweaver. Mm -hmm. And I forget what my other one was. I think it was like... It was just even more impossible for the mage to do, so unfortunately she just did not get that. Okay. Uh, but what did you think of that last scenario? Well, I'm a little disappointed to find out that we've been helping someone that may, after all this time, be bad. Be bad, right? Right. Um, I am a little bit worried about the children left in the forest, but, um, mm -hmm. you know, there's there's animals out there to help help them like in snow white something um i don't know what we're gonna pick next right so we have a few options we do yeah. i know now it's like a two new places are coming out every turn right do we want to go back how do we want to um yeah actually if there are a bunch we've got the temple of the dam still i think yep which is one. We have, yep. which is pretty sharp over here. Now a city. is actually inside Gloomhaven, yeah. the warehouse. So yeah. maybe we're like eavesdropping on Jack Sarah to see what's going maybe, on. Maybe, maybe. Uh, but she did want to send us all the We stole the, way the diamond and the library. And the library, which someone did mention they wanted us to do the library. Um, so it was between the library and the forest for our people were commenting what we, oh. where we should go next. So maybe we do the library We first. send both of that. We put both of the paths aside and we go do, do something side completely. Quests. Yeah, I like doing side quests before it Well, if it helps story. me in the region it's in to mm. gain my overall, I, I think maybe okay. we will do the library. So if you had to be put on the spot right now, would you go get the diamond or go eavesdrop on Jexera because it oh, looks like it's going to be one of her. I'm going to absolutely eavesdrop because I don't want to go further into her clutches mm -hmm. if She's I dead. can find out a little bit. Yeah, before. That's true. Beforehand. Okay. And then, you know, maybe use it against her. I, I don't oh. know. Be like, we want even more money to keep your secrets. Mm. secrets. Right. I don't know. I, I'm a little bit nervous that she's trying to um, 
overtake the military. I don't like, you know, um, land without rule of some sort. Okay. Land without, you know, okay, it would be chaos. Um, okay. I, I, I'm ready to get a new card. Yes, so when you level up, you get one new card from the level two. But your hand size doesn't increase. Right, so we have to replace one card. Yeah, that's that's tough. That's but rough. I'm excited to see what... See what they are, right? Yeah. yeah. Is it random? No, we get to pick one. We get to pick one. Yeah. Okay. And uh, our prosperity does increase, so that's going to bring us to two, which I'll check next time. Well, two check mark. Right. We're still away from becoming a level two. Level two, right. Uh, and other than that, I think we're all set. Mm -hmm. I, I like that mission. It was a little, obviously it was a little different. These guys just kept coming and then you had to plan out where you're going to attack. Do you guys feel like you lost, um, your place when we cut out the opening the part, rounds, yeah. the opening battle? Um, could you deal with seeing fights like that? Mm -hmm. Where we skip a, a portion and then kind of recap it and then Fight show you the, at end. the end. Uh, because hopefully, I don't know now because we were talking a lot more at the end, hopefully these videos can become a little bit shorter for you rather than two and a half Listen, hours. Listen, we have time for the new time stories to play, okay? That's way more important than Gloomhaven. Yes. I'm sorry. We love time stories. We love time stories. Okay. Uh, <laughs> whereas if, if we get to a certain part, you know, maybe every four or five missions, uh, we would do a full, a full run. So you can still get that taste. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, we'll so see. Let us let us know what you think. Uh, I'm glad. Hey, no one no one died. Let us know. Was anybody at PAX? Oh yeah, let us know if you saw anything really cool there. How come you didn't come up and talk to Corey? Yeah. Huh? What's up with that? What's up with that? I would have played a game. Yeah, right? Yeah, up. so let us know um, what games you played at PAX, mm -hmm. if you test drove anything, um, if you waited in line a really long time to play anything, yeah. if you were stuck outside. The in club the in the freezing cold oh, yeah, yeah, blizzard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us know. Let us know. If you're sick now. Sorry. Thanks for watching. As always, uh, leave some comments. Of, of course, we love them. Hopefully, we, we, we love responding to them. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. We're getting back, thankfully, to Kingdom Death this week. Which means you're going to have to wait a little bit longer for Seafall. But you'll be back to Kingdom Death. Yes, Kingdom Death. Thank you, Snots. All right. So <laughs> thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.